X-rays. A German scientist, Röntgen, accidentally discovered X-rays in 1895. Dr. William Coolidge, in 1913, designed a tube for the production of X-rays. This tube consists of an evacuated discharge tube. There is a tungsten filament fused to one of the sides of the tube as shown here. The tungsten filament is coated with barium oxide to get a copious supply of electrons. The filament is heated with the help of a DC circuit. The DC circuit consists of a battery, rheostat and an ammeter. There is a hollow molybdenum cylinder surrounding the filament. This cylinder, which is referred to as cylindrical shield, is maintained at a negative potential so that it focuses the electrons emitted by the filament onto the anode. The tungsten block is used as the anode and it is held at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. The anode is embedded in the copper block and is connected to a copper rod. There is an arrangement to cool the copper rod. The anode and cathode are connected with the positive and negative terminals of a high tension supply. Let us now see how X-rays are produced. The filament is heated by passing a suitable current through it. The filament emits electrons. The cylindrical shield helps in focusing the electrons emitted from the filament onto the point on the anode. The negative charge on the cylindrical shield forces the electrons to converge at a point on the anode. The electrons strike the anode with a large amount of kinetic energy. The major part of the energy of the incident electrons gets converted into heat and the remaining part appears in the form of X-rays. The wavelength of X-rays is given by the relation lambda is equal to CH by EV where lambda is the wavelength of X-rays C is the velocity of light, H is Planck's constant, E is the charge of an electron and V is the potential difference between cathode and the anode. Applications of X-rays X-rays are used in the field of medicine for diagnosis and cure. To detect flaws, cracks and air bubbles in certain finished goods like aeroplanes, cars and trains. To differentiate between real and fake diamonds. To study the structure of crystals. X-rays are also used as metal detectors.